Opening day festivities wrapping up. And we'll be back to get this season started right after this. From 41 Seaver Way, welcome to the home of the New York Mets. This is City Field. Opening day 2022 on MLB The Show. It's the Washington Nationals going up against the New York Mets. Joined by my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Shambi. All right, partner, ready to go. Always a pleasure to get things started with you on opening day. Well, Happy New Year, buddy. And anyone that's involved in baseball, even though it's not January 1st, this is the start of a new year. Every team has playoff hopes. I love this time of the year. I'm excited to get things going. All right, first pitch coming up. And starting in this one, Jacob DeGrom. Chris, he is a fun one. 18 and 2019. That one is absolutely belted. That's back there. And that one is out of here. His first homer of the year. Just like that, they move in front. It's 1-0. Well, you got to love a game that brings some action from the jump. And at the plate, he was looking for a pitch to absolutely drive. And, you know, leadoff hitters aren't up there anymore just working the count, trying to get on. They're looking to make some noise and do some damage. Bottom of the first. And on the hill in this one, Mackenzie Gore. There's always a bit of a learning curve for rookie pitchers. You've got to get familiar with these big league hitters now. Yeah. Swing and a miss. Curveball in the dirt. Gets to it on the first. Gets him. One away on a drop third strike. Grounder might be two. To second, there's one. And it's a double play. And the righty deals. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. After an inning and a half, it's 1-0. Oh, 0-2 now. Soft contact in the air. And it falls. And that keeps the inning going. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more bar. And these guys are going head to head. You can see the crowd. They're starting to get into it a little bit more, even though there hasn't been a ball in play yet. Absolutely dotted the edge of the zone right there. That was a tough battle, man. So to make a really quality pitch and just catch him looking like that, it's got to feel good out there on the mound. That was a fun at bat to watch. He's going to have to make an adjustment. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. And it beats him for the first out after the drop third strike. That one ripped on its way. Booyah! He'll circle the bases. His first homer of the year. It's 1-1. He ambushed him right there, Siggy. Yeah, swinging on that first pitch. And I think losing one over the fence is exactly what he had in mind as well. Love to see a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at-bat. You watch him from the on-deck circle, so when you step in the box, you're ready to pull the trigger wherever it's at. Really good job by the hitter. Total conviction on that swing. Back to the... Ripped on a line. Can't get their base hit. And that's a double. Nice double right there. Loud contact coming off the bat. Didn't get enough air under to drive it out of here, but you'll take that swing and that result every time. One.
one out. Down. Got him. And there are two down. Well, that slider down and away, it's just kind of a slow death. With two strikes, you're looking to protect. And halfway to the plate, you know you've committed, and you know you're going to have no chance of touching it. Tell you what, sometimes you just have to tip the cap. Here's for Got him looking. And there's one away. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher are on the same page right now. Now batter, the right fielder, Joey Manessa. Number off the bat, partner. The punch out there. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Guys become defensive, and all of a sudden, for the hitter, that plate starts to get really wide. And stay with it. A down mount strikes, he goes. The big righty strikes out the side. Nothing doing for Washington. Still tied. 1-1. One, one. To be a little more patient, see more pitches per at bat. Otherwise, that bullpen's not going to have to work over there, and it's going to be advantage pitching all game long. Throw, save. And that was close. And it looks like they might end up challenging. So they have decided to challenge the play, and now it's up to the replay umpires in New York to make the call. Another look at it. Singer, are you seeing enough to change the call? Yeah, I think so, Boog. I mean, it's close, but I think after looking at it a few times, we can see that this guy's probably out and could be a good use of the challenge right here. Looks like we've got an answer, and he's out. They took a chance with the challenge, and it paid off for him. Out to short. That's a base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Now, just a nice job coming through in a pretty high leverage spot right there. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Allen. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Boog gets talked about a lot, but a good high fastball in a two-strike situation, it's just become such a problem for hitters in more recent years. But with all of the emphasis by pitchers on developing that spin rate. And a swing and a miss. And that is that. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. To the pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That's out number two. Well, one of the things that hitters will do is they'll look for that red dot on the baseball as he's coming in to let him know what the pitch is and if they see the red dot it's typically a slider but when a guy's got a really tight one with there's a swing and a drive hits the fence and that moves the go ahead run to score in position with two gone in with a double and the go ahead runs at second with two out a little more back spin on that instead of the top spin He's jogging around the bases rather than pulling up at second. So, man at second. Swing, and that one's hammered. Deep drive. Way back there. Big one. Eduardo Escobar leaves the park. His first homer of the year, and they lead it. It's 3-1. Listen to these fans. This place is absolutely buzzing right now. You can feel the energy all the way up here in our broadcast booth. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. Manager out of the dugout, and he's going to make a change. Mackenzie Gore out of the game, and as he heads off, we'll step aside for a minute. Back with the new pitcher after this break.
Now on the mound for the Nationals, Carl Edwards Jr. And he'll do his best to keep right-hander kicks deals. Got him swinging. He chased the changeup. So he's gotten deep into this game. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is one at the belt and fires. And a base hit up the middle. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. The manager out of the dugout, and he'll make a move for the bullpen. Drew Smith will take over here. The mound here in the eighth. One more out, and they'll probably hand it off to their. Oh, this pitch rides in too far. So the tying run at second. Ball four. He's walked in a run. Well, hit slowly on the ground. It's on to Canna. Third out. Home half of inning number eight straight ahead. Gets the Mets three. And the turn to Edwin Diaz out of the pen. And this guy can bring it velocity wise. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Such a challenge when a guy's got great velocity. He's throwing a slider over 90 miles per hour. You want to be ready to hit that fastball, but that late break just eats you up every time. And Swing and a miss. Struck him out, and there's two away. This is definitely what a team likes to see out of their closer. Come in and just destroy all hope. First two batters, two strikeouts. See if he can strike out the side. Hold on to win a tight one as this one ends as a one-run ball game. Well, his first save of the season is in the books, and that was a nice job of him coming in the game and closing it out. He's off and running now.